Welcome back. I hope you're having a good weekend. And this is Demon of the Week. All right. So today we are looking at the 18th uh, spirit of the Goesha, which is Bathin. Um, just to go through the correspondences, uh, dates are September 12th to 22nd. Direction is west. Tarot is 10th or 10 of Pentacles. Uh, planet is Venus. Element Earth. Color green, plant, mistletoe, incense, sandalwood, zodiac is Virgo, 20 to 30 degrees, and other correspondences would be copper, frankincense, dirt, orange, lemon, spider webs, crushed, spi crushed spiders, and spider poison. Um, all right, so uh, starting with the ask question, oh, sorry, the end. So I'm going to do the end. Uh, the beginning from now on. All right, uh, the end is Diane Pretore on Car Bathin. Um, so they ask Goesha, so the Goesha um, states that Bathin is a strong man with the tail of a serpent sitting upon a pale colored horse. Uh, although in the um, uh, or Crowley's uh, um, edition publication of the Guesha, there was a question mark next to horse. So I'm not sure why. Uh, may have been a mistranslation or wasn't quite legible, something like that. Um, and Bathin knoweth the virtues of herbs and precious stones and can transport men suddenly from one country to another. All right, so when we're looking at this, Firstly, virtues of herbs and precious stones, so um, anything to do with uh, crystal healing, crystal magic, um, stones in general. You know, when we're talking about stones, we usually go straight for the crystals and the gemstones. But, you know, if you go into your garden or walk down the street, um, there may be a, a rock or a stone that kind of jumps out at you. And you can work with that, that rock or stone. Um, there's various ways to work with such things. Um, you can do a journey into the actual stone um, and find the, the guardian. Um, you can, you know, stones hold a lot of energy. They've been around for a very long time and they, they hold a lot of history. So you can tap into that as well. Um, so if you are wanting to work with the land, stones are brilliant for that. Um, and then obviously herbs, um, herbology, um, herbalism, wart cunning, uh, kitchen witchery, uh, which commonly actually mentions, which I'll get to just now. Um, but then transporting men suddenly from one country to another. All right, so um, again, coming back to Connolly, actually, let me just read Connolly's um, because I'm going to keep on coming back to that. Connolly said, uh, invoke before travel for a smooth trip and keep sigil on you. Will also uh, bring opportunity for travel. Use kitchen witchery with bath in rather than ceremony. Okay, so on the one hand, we're talking about travel. So if you want to have a safe trip, if you are flying overseas or you are taking a, a long car drive or something like that from one state to another state or one province to another province, uh, depending on what country you're in, obviously, um, then, you know, you can call that in to make sure that the journey is safe and keep the sigil on you during the trip, um, but also to bring opportunities for travel. If you are somebody who likes to travel, then, you know, speak to Bathin and see if you can present any opportunities that will allow that for you. But the other side of this, when we're talking about transporting a man, a man or a person suddenly from one place to another, um, there are different ways to look at this. Obviously, the first one would be astral projection. Um, it is discussed in uh, one of the grimoires. I'm sure it is the Goetia, but I, I could be wrong. Um, where the person was going from person from like mage to mage um, and trying to find somebody who actually uh, knew what they were talking about and a lot of them were just using trickery and things like that but there was one person that this um, source um, came across 
who used basically flying ointments. It was putting the um, a salve on their body um, and then they traveled to another place and they gathered information and they brought that information back. Um, so this is some, often considered to be that transportation from suddenly from one place to another. It's astral projection and you know we can go into witchcraft, into old, old traditional witchcraft where we're talking about flying ointments um, and it's usually a salve which is applied to the skin and it puts you into a trance and then you are able to astral project and you move from one place to another instantly. Um, so quite often when we're talking about that we're talking about astral projection. Um, there is also things like speed running which um, I don't know anybody, I've never known anybody who does it. Um, I've only read about it in books. Um, I'm not sure if it's an actual thing or whether it was just fantasy. Some of you came up with fantasy. Um, but I believe, I do believe that it is a real thing. Um, speed running is literally, um, it's running at such a speed that you are Kind of invisible but you move physically from one point to another point um so if anybody wants to look into that and they they manage to do speed running please let me know because i'd be very interested all right so the other person we always look at is vk Jahannam. now i know vk i know Jahannam kind of gets this this uh, information and sources from various different people but um I don't know, he seems to dive a lot into the uh, weird and wonderful and quite often the Ez Lordy dark type stuff. And uh, this was definitely one of them. I mean, we've just discussed um, herbology and um, stones and also travel, right? So this is uh, a summary of Jahannam's um, interpretation or, or findings. So he starts off by saying, that Bathin is the howl hound of the void, teacher of the ascended masters, the maiden of the night side, the warden of death, the regent of Bohu, and the duke of the Goesha. Uh, quite dramatic. Uh, if you're wondering what Bohu is, so Bohu is actually a Hebrew word which means emptiness. So um, Johannan goes on to say that uh, Bathin rules over deceased sorcerers in Bohu, so this is in the emptiness. Not entirely sure where that is supposed to be, um, but you know we have all different planes and realms of existence um, that we can venture into. So um, anyway, uh, going on also states uh, releases darkness into the universe and resurrects the dead. Um, she makes the corpses move and the screaming to silence. Um, I'm. You know, it, there's a necromantic aspect here which I'm not finding anywhere else. So I'm not sure where this source is, where this information came from. Um, blots out the emissaries of the Abrahamic divinity and tears worlds and realms asunder. This is really dramatic. Um, and enhances the witch's psychic perception um, amplify destructive power and elevate the witch to a state of physical undeath. All right, uh, I, I do enjoy Jahannam, I do like him, but I do feel this is getting a bit too edge lordy. Um, yeah, I'm not sure where the necromantic aspect comes from. Tear worlds asunder and realms asunder. Um, that's going a bit, bit far. It just seems to be a it seems to be a bit too fantastical. Um, so I'm going to stick with travel, herbology, and crystal or gemstone or stone in general magic. All right, um, so that's that's Bathin. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week with another one. Cheers for now. Bye-bye.